this is about the introduction of the MRV, so you understand what MRV is. So the then next part, so how we can use MRV for. So those applications. For example, the best example of the MRV application is the mod MRV and Nginx MRV and H2O. All of them are web servers. Mod MRV, Nginx MRV, and H2O. All of them are, are web servers. So those web servers are uh, Using, using those modules and the web servers, you can configure your web servers using uh, Ruby programs. So, and then they are pretty fast. And then you can configure so everything in Ruby. So that means that you don't have to so fight against the mod rewrite very complex regular expression rules. Or the, you can write, or write very uh, straightforward conditionals for configure your programs. Or maybe you can react to the uh, distributed uh, denial of service attack by, by finding, by block, uh, blacklisting the several, some IP addresses or something like that. This can restrict the bandwidth or CPU resource of the, the certain application under your the web servers but using the C group uh, functionality of the Linux. So the, actually the mod MRV, which is the, the MRV module for Apache web server, is even faster than mod Lua, which is kind of do the same things using root Lua. <clears throat> and the Nginx MRuby is the one of the fastest Ruby web servers. So the fast, faster than factor of two, three, or even five times than se the usual, you know, say Sinatra programs. So if your applications can run on MRuby, which is the the subset of the Ruby programming language, so the n not all the programs. Uh, Run on uh, run in MRuby just because you you can you cannot run Rails in MRuby, but uh, we have several uh, say web web application framework which is kind of similar to Sinatra, so you can write the tiny web application in in MRuby. So in that case, uh, M, the mod MRuby or Nginx MRuby is far faster than usual Ruby. And H2O is recently written the web server for HTTP2, and, uh, which comes with the MRuby by default. So you, you download the H2O server, so you compile it, and uh, if the MRuby is installed on your computer, so the H2O is automatically configured to use MRuby. The other the example is the gaming systems. So several game companies is working on embedding MRuby into their games. For example, Sid Meier's Starship, which is the, the civilization series, the recent one, like this. Damn. <laughs> so they, they sent me a mail so to, to ask me a permission to use MRuby logo for their, the material. So, they didn't, they didn't, I, I didn't ask them to use it. So they found MRuby and they, they decided to use MRuby and then they asked, asked me about the, for permission to use the MRuby logo in their, uh, in their manuals and the materials. So maybe uh, in, soon we will have the, uh, the box of game that has the, okay, this program uh, contains the MRuby and this and something, something, something. In very, I don't know, maybe in October or November, I don't know, maybe in a month or two. Anyway, so other systems. Uh, yep, micro satellites. So the, the QPS Lab company in Japan so is working on the micro microsatellites like this big, so the half inch cube, half inch cubic size, 
And then micro, micro satellites uh, piggyback in the real satellites. So the, the real satellites will maybe uh, weigh several tons, the big one for the broadcasting or something like that. The micro satellites piggyback on that rocket. So as a, you know, in a, in a sp the extra space. So they got the got the space. They the the rockets throw away those satellites. So they control by themselves to get on the, the Earth's orbit to be a satellite. So these micro uh, micro satellites around uh, go around the, the around the Earth for a year or two, then sensing sensing data or the, the uh, submit, uh, transmitting the data to the uh, the control tower or something like that. And then those systems are uh, much cheaper to, to, get, to, to get that right because it's, uh, it's piggyback. But uh, you know, the, the deploying, deployment schedule is decided by the other, fa uh, other factor, like uh, the, the, the rocket, the, the that right. So you have to be very quick to implement those that right. So, the, the QPS comp the lab company so decided to use MRuby. So the, they use the standard hardware. So the, you can configure those hardware by MRuby. So you can uh, implement your, your application, your, your satellite, using MRuby. So by configuring MRuby. So the, the sensor controller or the, the orbit what what you call it? <laughs> I don't know. The the gyro or something is is controlled by C. So those program uh, those systems can be uh, combined and configured by MRuby programs. Uh, the the other things is IIJ company, which is in Japan, uh, sells router which has a MRuby in it. So the you can have the uh, the, me, the user the user menu or the some kind of configuration doing uh, using MRuby. Other thing is the the company named the Cloudwalk, uh, which is in Brazil, I guess, is the implemented the some kind of payment system, payment devices like a, the credit card reader. So it's it runs MRuby in it, so that. Uh, you can adapt those kind of the you know the payments the diff complex complicated rules of the payment systems so the i believe mruby has huge potential in the embedding field embedding in applications embedding in systems embedding in devices so you i think we can uh beat the Lua or Tickle or the JavaScript in this field using MRuby. So the Ruby is, you know, the better in pro uh, productivity. So the, you can use MRuby to be more productive so, uh, or effective or maybe enthusiastic. And like not only in web, to write a web application, but also in the some kind of embedding field or the systems to, to, to be in extendable. So, so I, I believe MRuby has the, the, you know, the bright future. So, and then that, that's all folks, <laughs> thanks.